Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to be calculating internal energy changes of a system or calculating delta E. So, how can the energy of a system change? Well, it says right here that the total amount of energy that is absorbed or released by a system is equal to the change in the amount of work associated with the system plus the change in the amount of heat associated with the system. So get to get the total change in energy of a system, we have to take a look at the amount of heat that the system is absorbing or releasing, and we have to take a look at the amount of work that the system is doing on the surroundings or that the surroundings is doing on the system. If we know these two things, then we can easily calculate and determine the change in the system's internal energy. So let's take a look at heat and let's take a look at work and see how these two play into the overall energy calculation of a system. And so what is heat and what is work? Well, it says right here that heat or lowercase q is defined as the flow of energy due to temperature differences between systems. And that work or lowercase w is defined as a system applying a force on another system or surroundings and displacing it a certain distance. So what does this mean right here? Well, let's take a look at a few examples. And let's take a look at heat first. Let's take a look at heat flow in and out of a system. It says right here, if the system releases heat, then Q is gonna be negative. And if the system absorbs heat from the surroundings, then Q is going to be positive. So if we take a look at this hot cup of coffee right here, we can see that this hot cup of coffee, which is the system, is releasing energy or heat into the surroundings. And anytime the system is going to release heat into the surroundings, Q is going to be negative. Okay, so Q will be negative here. If we take a look at this example right here, this little fudge sickle is, is absorbing thermal energy. It's absorbing energy from its surroundings. So if we see this fudge sickle as being this the system, it's absorbing thermal energy or heat from its surroundings. So Q here is going to be positive. If we take a look at this example right here, we have a steaming hot dog, and it looks like this hot dog is our system here, and it's releasing energy. It's releasing heat energy, or Q, into the surroundings. So Q is going to be negative. So once again, if the system is releasing heat into the surroundings, then Q is negative and if the system is absorbing heat from the surroundings then Q is positive and so let's take a look at work over here it says if the system is doing work on the surroundings then W is going to be negative and if work is done on the system by the surroundings of course then W is going to be positive okay so W will be positive so let's take a look at a couple of examples let's take a look at this 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 gentleman here pushing the lawnmower he's uh, he's doing some gardening, he's mowing his lawn, and so if this gentleman here is the system, he is doing work on this lawnmower right here, and so the system is doing work on the surroundings, the guy here or the gentleman here is pushing the lawnmower, he's doing work on the lawnmower, so W is going to be negative. If we take a look at it from the lawnmower's perspective, and the lawnmower being the system, then the lawnmower is having work done on it by the surroundings. This gentleman here is now the surroundings, and so W is going to be positive. If we take a look at this example right here, the tractor is doing work on the trailer, right? The tractor is doing work on the trailer as he uh, as the tractor pulls it in this direction right here. And so the tractor, if the system is the tractor here, will have a W or work equal to a negative amount of work being done. All right, so the sign of work is going to be negative here. And if we take a look at the trailer here, then the trailer is having work done on it. If the trailer here is the system, it's having work done on it by the surroundings, and therefore W is going to be positive. Okay, so understand that relationship between heat either leaving the system or coming into the system and work uh, being done on the surroundings or the surroundings doing work on the system. Okay, so now that we know uh, how heat and work kind of relate to the internal energy of a system, we could now start to perform some calculations in, and find the change in energy of a system using the delta E equals Q plus W equation. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so in this first example, it says a gas absorbs 54 kilojoules of heat and does 29 kilojoules of work. We want to calculate the change in the system's energy, right? So to get the change in the system's energy, we have to take a look at two things. We have to take a look at the amount of heat that is released or absorbed by the system, and we have to take a look at the amount of work that's being done on the system or being done by the system. So if we take a look here, let's first take a look at heat or Q. It says right here that the gas is absorbing 54 kilojoules of heat. So because the gas is absorbing the heat, then the sign of Q is going to be positive, and we have a positive 54 kilojoules. If we take a look at W, let's read on. It looks like the gas, which is the system, is doing work on the surroundings, right? It's doing work on the surroundings. So anytime we have that scenario, the sign of W is going to be negative, And it looks like we have 29 kilojoules. So now that we have this set up and we have our formula, we can just plug it in, right? We know that delta E is equal to Q plus W. And it looks like Q here is a positive 54 kilojoules. And it looks like W is a negative 29 kilojoules. And so when we do the math here, it looks like we're going to end up with a positive 25 kilojoules as our final answer. So this is the total change in energy of this system. And so what does this little positive sign mean here? What does this positive sign mean right here? This means that overall this system is absorbing energy, right? And that is going to be an endothermic process like we learned in an earlier video, right? The system here overall is absorbing energy from its surroundings. Let's take a look at another example. In this second example, it says a system releases 135 kilojoules of heat and has 110 kilojoules of work done on it. So we have to calculate the delta E. And if we read this question again, the system is releasing 135 kilojoules of heat and has 110 kilojoules of work done on it. So here's the formula that we're going to use to solve this problem. The change in energy of a system is equal to the, the heat that is associated with it as well as the amount of work that's associated with the system. So we have to take a look at Q first. If we take a look at Q or the amount of heat, uh, it says that the system is releasing. Because it's releasing, the sign of Q is going to be negative, 135 kilojoules. And if we take a look at work, it says, if we read, it says that 110 kilojoules of work is being done on it. So the, the surroundings are doing work on the system. Therefore, work here is going to be positive 110 kilojoules. And so now we can just plug these numbers into our formula right here. Delta E equals Q plus W. It looks like Q in this problem is negative 135 kilojoules. And it looks like W in this problem is a positive 110 kilojoules. And so when we put this in our calculator, it looks like we're going to end up with a negative 25 kilojoules overall. Okay, so what does this answer mean? Well, this means overall the system, that being, uh, well, this is just the system here. It doesn't tell us it's a gas or anything like that. So this system is releasing. It's releasing 25 kilojoules of energy overall. And so this is going to be an exothermic process, right? Anytime delta E is negative, we're going to have an exothermic process. And the system is releasing energy into the surroundings. Let's take a look at another example. In this third example, it says a system absorbs 50. 55 kilojoules of heat and has 142 kilojoules of work done on it, we have to calculate delta E. So to figure out the change in energy of a system, it's simple. We take a look at the heat, we take a look at the work and see what's going on. So if we take a look at the heat or Q, it says the system is absorbing 55 kilojoules of heat. So anytime the system absorbs uh, heat, it's going to be positive. The sign will be positive and we have 55 kilojoules. If we read on and take a look at what's happening with work, it says that 142 kilojoules of work is being done on it. So the system is kind of absorbing some work from the surroundings, we can say. And so that too is going to be positive. 
So we have a positive 142 kilojoules here. And so now we know to calculate the change in the uh, energy of a system, we take Q plus W. And so if we take a look at Q, it's going to be 55 kilojoules, a positive 55 kilojoules plus a positive 142, whoops, 142 kilojoules. Here, I'll just erase this and put 142 up here. 142 kilojoules. And so when we add these together, it looks like we're going to end up with a positive 197 kilojoules of energy is being absorbed by this system, right? This is a positive sign here. This is an endothermic process it looks like the system overall is going to absorb energy from its surroundings. Let's take a look at one final example. In this last example, it says a system releases 145 kilojoules of heat while doing 35 kilojoules of work. We need to calculate delta E. So we know the change in the energy of a system is equal to Q plus W. And so let's take a look at Q and let's take a look at W. It looks like in this word problem here, it says this system is releasing heat, right? So the sine of Q will be negative here and it's releasing 145 kilojoules. If we read on, it says that the system is doing work. If it's doing work on the surroundings, then W will also be negative and we have 35 kilojoules. So now to get delta E, we take Q plus W. Q here is negative 145. It looks like W is negative 35. And when we put this in our calculator, we will end up with negative 180 kilojoules. So it looks like overall the change in this system's energy is 180 kilojoules, negative 180 kilojoules. And what does this negative sign mean right here? Anytime delta E is negative, that means that this process is going to be an exothermic process. And overall, the system is releasing energy into its surroundings, okay? So this system is releasing 180 kilojoules of energy into the surroundings. So let's take a look at a few problems that you can try on your own. And so what I recommend you do at this point in the video is pause the video. Pause the video and try these out on your own. Here's the description. Go ahead and try to determine the, uh, the delta E for what's being described right here. And I'm going to give you guys the answers right about now. So how did you do? Did you get these four answers correct? If so, then you have a pretty good understanding of calculating delta E. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that's going to subscribe you to my channel. And feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys found this helpful.